is about how to separate yourself from negative friends. This is something that I think in one way, shape, or form that we deal with in our lives. And this was actually something that was requested by one of our viewers. I'm going to keep her identity confidential, but I'm going to actually read through what she has sent me. Hi, could you vlog or blog about how to separate yourself from negative friends? I have one friend in particular that I like to distance myself from. Her energy is so negative that I find it hard to be in her presence. I've known her for four years now, and the more I get to know her, the more I want to stay away from her. I continue the friendship because I figured abandoning someone who considers you a friend is not the best way to handle it, especially when I know that she is depressed. I do know that she sees a psychiatrist, and the reason she sees one is because she doesn't like the way that she looks. I feel bad for her and understand that it must be very hard for her to have this insecurity. I always have been a good friend to her. I listen to her when she needs to talk and give her good advice. When I try to talk to her about something that might be bothering me, her response is always, who cares, just don't worry about it. And her final question is, have you ever come across a person like this? How can I get out of this friendship without hurting her feelings? Yes, I have been in a situation like this, and I consider it the friendship breakup. It is always difficult to go through a distancing of friends. But one thing to remember is that this is something that's natural that occurs in most people's lives. The type of situation that you're in, where someone that you are friends with is a negative influence, someone who does not support you, does not inspire you, that brings you down, is a very difficult situation to deal with because it's a personal thing. Now, if you make the decision that this person is someone I choose not to associate with, then so be it. That's absolutely fine. It's just the way that you handle it. You do know that she's going through a difficult time in her life. And realize that people who are so much in pain are so disconnected to be able to love themselves. So if they're not able to love themselves, they can't love you. So be mindful of that. And it doesn't mean that you have to agree and accept what she's done to you. But at the same time, be compassionate and recognize that she is probably going through so much in her own personal life that she's not able to be a supportive friend. We are always the main character in our lives. Our lives surround us. So if, even though you might feel that she's been treating you badly, it has very less to do with you and a lot more to do with herself. So don't take, take the things that she does personally and try to recognize that if she's lying or if she's not being honest or if she is not being honorable as a friend, if she's gossiping, she's being negative, recognize that has to do around her around what she's feeling and the energy that she's bringing. So if you recognize that I no longer want to be a part of that, I'm absorbing that negativity, then you need to make the decision that, all right, and I think you did. This friendship is no longer going to be something that I want in my life. There is something I have to tell you. Girl, there is no way to break up a friendship without hurting someone's feelings. That is just a part and a nature of breakup. There is going to be some hurt. There's a change that is going to occur because you once were friends or she considered you a friend and you no longer are going to be uh, spending time with each other. So there's always going to be an adjustment period. But the way that you handle it makes or breaks it. If you handle it with love and compassion, you talk to her, you're honest with her, the only way that you can move forward and let it go is through that honesty and actually sitting down with her. Now, if you do it where you just, she still thinks that she's friends with you and you haven't made a clear intention that you no longer want to be part of the friendship, that is actually wrong on your part because you're prolonging the friendship, you're prolonging the negativity, and she really doesn't know what's going on in your life. So you owe her that much to be honest with her. So first thing is that what I think you should have a face-to-face -face conversation with her. Second is, before you go and talk to her, make a list of all the things that has happened, that's transpired, that made you feel the way that you feel. And your first draft, get everything out. The anger, the frustration, the betrayals, 
Get a really messy, dirty version out and then just wait. Do not use that version to speak to her. So reevaluate it and go back and see, okay, with these things that happened in the past, this is how it made me feel. Base it on the feelings that you've had because of your relationship. No one can attack you or say that you shouldn't feel a certain way. However, if you go into the conversation pointing out, well, you did this wrong, you're a bad person, why are you like that, you need to be a better friend, automatically any person's ego is going to go up in full force, her guard is going to go up, and more likely than not, she's going to be defensive and not be receptive to what you're saying. So you have to kind of just picture it as how can I express how I felt based on when we were in a friendship together. Next thing is, is that every relationship that you're in is an assignment. So now your job is to see what are the lessons that you can learn from this relationship. So maybe for you is setting boundaries. Or maybe it's for you uh, to learn that, you know what, I shouldn't gossip about friends. Or maybe this relationship is supposed to teach you how to let go, how to constructively and lovingly let go of a relationship. So kind of do your own inner work to see what you can learn from this so that you don't allow people in your life that suck out your positivity. And the next thing is realize that the way that she reacts to it is not in your control. So you want to be as straightforward, as honorable, and as respectful as possible. But if she does not react to it in the way that you expect it, just give her space. And just realize that her karma is based on her actions and your karma is based on your actions. So just try to be as loving as possible, try to be as understanding as possible, and really kind of explain that because of the things that transpired, we can no longer be friends. I respect you as a person, and if you really need me in the future, I'll always be there for you. But at this time in my, junk, in my life, I think that it's better if we keep some space from each other. And that's pretty much the best way to really approach it, and then just let it be. I realized that, especially when you have a group of friends that are still going to be friends with that person, they have absolutely every right to do that. Even though they might have their own issues with them, they might not do the honorable thing like you to sit, sit her down and talk to her. So do recognize that they might gossip about her, talk negatively about her, or you might hear that she's talking negatively about you. Don't get caught up in the drama. People unintentionally or intentionally after a friendship breakup will want to find out what happened, what did you say, what went down, and don't prolong what happened. You are putting yourself in a situation at that point to bring up all the feelings, bring up all the negativity, and you can't blame anybody but yourself if you get caught up in the gossip. So just be very mindful of that and just say, you know, things happened and at this time in our life, it's just we're not in a good place to be friends with each other and leave it at that. And I think your good friends will be able to understand that and just let it go. And the very last thing is keep an open heart. So even though at this point in your life you feel that, you know what, this friendship is not something that is important to me or something that I want to have in my life, people change, life circumstances changes. You, knew, you do know that she's going through a very difficult time in her life, so respect that. And maybe she'll grow from that, and maybe she'll become a different person. But allow people the space to grow and change and admit their mistakes. So maybe in the future, there is a chance where you may rekindle the friendship. Maybe there isn't. But if you block her out completely and your heart is shut out to her, you'll never be able to know if you would be able to grow past the relationship and maybe become friends again. But always remember that regardless whatever happens, you choose the people that are in your life. So choose wisely.